there were days where policy making was seen as a pure political process or a pure technocratic process. The world has changed and people came to understand that they need to involve those whose livelihoods are in fishes. But when they started, it was only the physical presence which counted. To say, okay, we have fisher folks here, as we have farmers. This was good, but not sufficient, because this was not real participation. Then there was a time these people, fisher folks, farmers and so on, were allowed to express themselves. It was a progress, but still insufficient, because fisher folks want their voices to be heard, but they want to exert influence on the policy agenda, policy formulation, policy decisions. Once their voices are heard, once their influence is exerted, it's still not sufficient because we need implementation. Implementation may require new policies. You have, for instance, the draft agreement establishing the common fisheries policies in the region, but you still need I guess, policies at the national level. So, things are moving, but it's never sufficient. It's never an end, per se. The current consultation is just the start. The start of a number of activities which will, which will help the region, help stakeholders and decision makers. Design advocacy tools, design engagement tools, to make sure the regional policies are implemented by those who need those, those policies more than others. The direct engagement of fisher folks is a necessity, it's not only a moral requirement, it's a technical, a scientific and a political requirement for the formation of contemporary policies and for future policies. The complexity, diversity and dynamics of developing policies require that stakeholders at the grassroots level are involved in all deliberations, in all phases of the process. Sound policies require that fisher folks are capable of formulating their own demands. They are capable of making sure their demands are communicated to those who need to know those who have the responsibility to act for the country, for the stakeholders, for the region, and if you allow me, for the entire ACP group. So, content is needed, but also communication is needed. Effective advocacy work starts with the mobilization of official folks themselves, so that they can identify and articulate their interests and demands and then the mobilization of those organizations, networks and individuals, as well as the general public, who can create the necessary <coughs> dynamics around policy processes and influence them. And then to convey those messages to those who prepare plans and the decisions and those who eventually make decisions. In this context, communication is as important as actual policy proposals. From the early days of our partnership with CRFM, Terence Phillips, Milton Houghton, Hugh Sol and others, CTA has been providing support to the knowledge and information dimension of policy making involving fisher folks in this region. As a technical institution, CTA plays capacity development and the knowledge brokerage roles so that the various stakeholders, including fisher folks themselves, can access, generate and use knowledge, experiences and best practices generated within and outside the region, including ACP regions. My good friend George has mentioned Papua New Guinea, which is a member of the ACP group. Maybe very few people know about Papua New Guinea. Many people may know about some countries outside the region, but I think it's important for this region to learn from other regions in the South Pacific, in Africa and globally. And this is part of our role, to facilitate access, to facilitate interaction with those 
experiences, people and institutions. It's important for us, it's in our mandate, to facilitate the use of innovative processes, use of innovative approaches and technologies to facilitate access, generation and use of knowledge. I should mention mass media. Mass media is extremely important. As you know, for many years, media people, technical people and policy people did not have the necessary mutual understanding and trust to work together. Things are moving, the world is moving, and also the ACP are moving. And we hope that mass media will be able to play the role they only can play. It's important to mobilize stakeholders, mobilize the general public, mobilize mobilize all those who are interested and affected by reading the policies. Let me finish by saying one or two words on new communication technologies, web to tools, social media. I think you now in these days one needs to realize that unless you use these new tools, web based tools, you will not be not have the presence you need to influence policies. This is very important also to mobilize the youth in face of the aging population of official folks, but also in the face of aging decision makers, aging managers, aging technicians and researchers. And Web2 tools can help, can help, and youth can help innovate, youth can help modernize the sector for the benefit of all.